Has God promised you something? At least have you thought, or do you think God has promised you something? Are there things in your life that you truly believe will happen? For every Christian, we do have at least one, which is eternity with God in heaven. But there are many other blessings that he gives us in this life. Um, and it can get very discouraging when you don't receive them. And even more discouraging when you don't know when you're going to receive them. And when it seems like things are going in the opposite direction. But remember, Jacob was promised by God lots of authority, lots of power, and a great nation in his name. Many offspring. It was Jacob. He saw a vision. God gave him a vision of, of the ladder going to heaven. And, and then he told him his blessing. After that, he went to go find his wife. And he saw this girl, Rachel, and he fell in love with her the moment he saw her. And he wanted to marry her, but her dad was like, you have to work for me for seven years first. So he worked for seven years. Seven years. And then he got tricked and then had to work another seven years to marry her. It was 14 years to marry her. Right after he received this blessing from God saying that you're going to have many children you're gonna have you're gonna be a great nation um, but it wasn't gonna be easy God never said it was gonna be easy and I'm sure there are things in his life that God was trying to take care of Jacob is probably a very wealthy man had a lot of people serving him so he's used to just ordering people around to do things for him but in a relationship, we are called to serve, to serve our, our wife or our husband even. Um, so maybe he wasn't used to that. So he spent these seven, 14 years actually working, serving her dad and serving her. Um, so God was probably trying to change something in his heart, right? To get him where he needs to be. Humbling him, right? And same thing with Jacob's kid, Joseph, was had a vision from God saying he's going to be ruling over his family and over the whole nation. Um, he told his brothers, and his brothers didn't like that. They were jealous, so they put him in a hole and then sold him to slavery and left him for dead, pretty much. Um, so he just Joseph just got this blessing, and then he ends up in a hole, left for dead, and then sold him to slavery. And then once he was a slave for the king, he got accused for... Um, rape, which he didn't even do, falsely accused, and um, just all these things like going downhill, going the opposite way of what he thought was going to happen. But God had a plan, and He worked it out because him being a slave in prison, he he had the opportunity to interpret dreams to the king. So he interpreted a dream that helped the king out so much. So the, so the king made him his number two man, his right-hand man. And from that, he became extremely powerful, extremely wealthy, and he received the blessing that God promised him. But it took him a long time, and he had to go all the way down. So God was probably trying to humble him. Right? Because if you're going to lead and be a king and you don't know what it's like to serve there's a good chance you'd become tyrannical and not empathize well over the people that are under you you start to feel like you're better than them when really we're not there are two great examples there are many other examples like Jesus being in, in the wilderness that's another thing though he was being tempted so if you believe that God has a blessing for you 
and it doesn't seem like it's coming to pass right now, maybe going the opposite way, just know that no matter what trial you're experiencing, God is trying to make you into the person that you're supposed to be. So you may be complete, lacking nothing. So that you might be able to receive that blessing. It might take time. It might take patience. I know I need patience. And I need humility. And I need to learn how to serve. Just some crazy stories that I was just going over right now. It's, it's pretty, pretty encouraging, you know makes me very happy to know that God loves us so much. So, 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 so much. And all things work for the good of those who love Him. So we should go into prayer with God in thanksgiving. Being vulnerable with God and opening up our heart to Him respectfully, but always giving Him thanks for everything He has done and everything he will do. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name.